Hey guys, it's Kevin with WatchHimTrade.com here with my Bulls vs. Bears outlook heading into the week of April 13th, 2015. As you can see, I'm repping the Bulls, baby. D. Rose, who made about his 15th comeback this past week, and the Stock Bulls made quite a comeback as well, moving the S&P from 2060 up to 2100, and we are now within 15 points of the all-time high. I had a lot of internal debate about whether to wear this jersey or a Bears jersey, not for the fact that I'm bearish on the market, but because I felt like we're up near the channel highs. We've been channeling between 2050-ish and 2100 for the last month or so, and now we're up near the highs, so I felt like, hey, we might get a channel pullback here and go back down towards that 2050. But ultimately, what it came down to for me is that too many individual stocks that I follow look good. Tesla all of a sudden looks pretty good. Amazon has looked good and looks even better after this week. Apple firmed up this week looks pretty good. Twitter's been on a roll. She looks good. Netflix got a big recovery and she looks pretty good. And at the end of the day, stocks make up a market. Markets do not make up stocks, okay? So I'm looking at a landscape of widely held stocks that I feel look pretty solid and think that their potential is for further upside from here, not reversals lower. So that's what helped me decide to put on this Bulls jersey. And we've got a forward-looking catalyst with earnings coming up. Netflix, big tech stock that I'll be watching, kicking it off Wednesday after hours. And then we get into Google and Apple in the weeks that follow. We've, of course, got the big banks reporting. And I think sentiment is expecting earnings to be pretty poor or at least not great, which maybe can create some upside expectations. It seems year after year, we go into this second quarter of earnings with the expectations being subdued. And year after year, earnings end up coming in better than expected and spark a rally into the summer. April is one of the best months, I think, either the second or the very best month of the year for the S&P 500 dating back to 1928. I saw that stat in a research report I was looking at. So some things coming together here. I think we go higher. Don't mind my window slamming and the sirens back and forth. But anyways, good luck guys. Keep your eyes on Netflix after hours. Watch that 2100 level on the S&P here. If we back away from it, we can get that channel pullback. But if you stay up around here, I'm looking for more momentum up towards 2120s, 2130s, new all-time highs. What would have me putting the Bears jersey on outright? Have to break down at 2040. Until that happens, we're okay.